it's pretty straightforward. Yes. I find the patients for the dentist. Mm -hmm. I qualify these patients. I schedule them on a, on the calendar. So mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm, that's which is the next question I'm going to ask you. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Different from this, how do I connect my calendar with my dentist calendar? But anyways, let me just tell you the funnel first. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth the fourth part of the funnel is nurture and follow up. So I send mm -hmm. email email sequences with the yep. starting with the confirmation email the welcome email and then a reminder and on the day of the appointment so so i run facebook ads i run the facebook ads a client see the facebook ad they click the learn more button which mm -hmm. takes them to a landing page mm -hmm. which tells them about the special you know they're interested in the special whether mm -hmm. it be a free teeth cleaning, free teeth whitening, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And then after they see, I, I kind of indoctrinate them on the landing page, telling them the benefits and the features of the cleaning mm -hmm. or, or the free offer. Mm -hmm. they int they're interested, they click, it takes them to the schedule where they then make the day when, they're, uh, when they want to go in for the appointment. So they'll click, say for example, and this is where I have to find a way to sync my appointment, my, um, the dentist's uh, appointment scheduling with mine. So when the patient clicks on it, you know, at least it's, it, it would kind of work similarly how I would go to your, um, your uh, calendar and mm -hmm. I know when you're available and when you're not. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then I'll click on that time and date and then the dentist will get a notification that you know a client a patient has booked for this for, for a free service mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, it would that would then now trigger an autoresponder where the the, the 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 patient would get an email confirmation that they have made an appointment on this day yep right yep and then they'll get a second email after that you know kind of welcoming them to the dentist if, if, if it's a new patient mm -hmm. telling them a little bit more about the dentist in that email and then the third email would be the reminder, say, you know what, remember, this is a reminder to tell you that you're booked in with Dr. So-and-so on the 15th at 12 a.m., right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's my funnel. So kind of walk me through how we would do this in Kartra. Okay. First of all, all the pages are done right here in my pages. Okay, so right. that's where all your pages are. You can come in here, click the green button, and right. there's already a bunch of, um, let me log into a different account because this account is maxed out. Let me go to a, a different account. Mm -hmm. Let me go to a new one. This is the client I was just speaking to. So if I come in here and I click on my pages, any page, whether it's a landing page, whether it's a page in an email sequence, whether it's part of your funnel, whatever, there's a bunch of templates that are already done. So I click on my pages to the left and I come over here. Mm -hmm. There's squeeze pages. There's video sales pages, thank you pages, all these different types of templates, okay, that, mm -hmm. that I can go off of. So if I'm using, right. if I'm using, it just depends, personal branding, blog posts, like there's different templates. Let's say, for example, it's just we're starting with the squeeze page. In here, right. here are all the different templates. So I can just go right. off of this and just, and just, you know, customize it and do all the editing, change the color, whatever. So it all starts with my pages. It all starts with, with, with getting those four pages up over here. That's, that's, right. that's where it all starts. And then the form. The form is whether it's a calendar and they're going to schedule a call, they enter their name and email, that's a form. Mm -hmm. Or whether they're going mm -hmm. to your, land, your squeeze page and requesting more information, that's a form. So the form mm -hmm. is what sits on the page, right? So you right. go to land the landing page. page. Yeah. Right. You go to the landing page and that form is what that person's filling out. Now it's, it's set up over here under my forms. And then right. in the sequence or in the emails or, or the funnel, however you want to set it up, then you have the calendar. Mm -hmm. So on this right. calendar, I can simply get the link and here's the link to my calendar. So I can embed mm -hmm. this link into any email. So if an automated email is going out, hey, Stacy, we got your request for a free teeth cleaning. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to our calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to see you. So that could be so set up. Would we, Go ahead. So we, we, yeah. So, oh, you just telling me the different options of, of kind of utilizing that. Yes. Yes. Okay. But it's all about a calendar, right? It's all about right. a calendar. So 
with Karcher, I have a calendar. So my calendar, mm-hmm. I can put it wherever I want. Like I can, I can, I can put it in, in an email. I could put it at the mm-hmm. end of a page. So if you go to my, if mm-hmm. you go to my, my squeeze page and you want to, to opt in to get your free teeth cleaning, you mm-hmm. opt in, put your name and email, and then you go to a thank mm-hmm. you page. On that right. thank you page, there can be a button, like for example, on mine. So if I go to, well, let me show you on hers because I'm in her account. Mm-hmm. Right here, let me show you an example. So as people go to her, um, um, actually, is it? Let me see if it's on here because I think she's going to get people to join the community. But right here, this is a thank you page. Thank you, your ebook is on the way. It could be the same thing right. for Dennis, right? Thank you, right. your schedule, click, and there could be a video right here. And then, and mm-hmm. then down here, this button, click here to schedule your teeth cleaning now. And when they right. click on it, then it takes them to the calendar. This can calendar, we not have can we not have a calendar actually displayed on the landing page? So, like, get the code probably from a Calendly uh, uh, link, and then code it inside the because I I know it's kind of like ClickFunnels where you can do HTML codes. Yes, and have the calendar display on the page itself yep. where they can yep. schedule on the page. Yeah. Well, they can schedule on the page no matter what. So even if I, even if I just, you can do it HTML for sure, but even if you just put a button or even if, mm-hmm. if, if the form, when they go to the actual page, when they go to the actual right. page, the landing page, rather than taking mm-hmm. them anywhere else, I could take them straight to the calendar form. Right. That's, that's what I was saying. Yes. After I kind of, you know, tell them about the benefits and the, the benefits uh, and tell them a little bit more, uh, more about the dentist because, you know, we're scheduling for new patients, right? And, and you're so telling tell them, them all this up front on the landing page before they even opt in? Right. Okay. Kind of, you know. Yeah. Because what we're going to use in the Facebook ad, we would use probably a video, right? Mm-hmm. A video w- w- which converts better than just pictures, right? Yep. yep. And say we're, let's say we're using a free assessment, a free dental assessment, right? So we'd we'll use a video with the dentist that's going to do the assessment. Mm-hmm. When they click on the learn more, it will take them. Uh, and, and you feel free to, to, to make suggestions here because. Uh, no, you know, whatever I you're feel, doing, bro, I, whatever you're doing, it's working. And whatever and everything you're saying is right here. So keep going. Keep going. Yeah. So, so they will see the ad. They will on Facebook or Instagram. They'll click mm-hmm. the learn more button. Do you think. Because the less work, this is the thing right now in, in, on, in, in the times right now, people's attention span is very short. Mm-hmm. So they want to, they want to jump to the point, but in some cases you have to kind of reassure them in a way because of the COVID and you, you know, you have to kind of, mm-hmm. in my niche, dentist niche, you have to stress protocols, right? Yes. And the only chance you get to stress the protocols is either in the Facebook ad or on the landing page, mm-hmm. depending mm-hmm. or if, you, if you're going to do a, 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 a lead gen ad where, you, where you're going to just keep them on Facebook mm-hmm. or you're going to do a bridge page where you take them from Facebook to a landing page, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so, so I, uh, I think, you know, it's... It, it, uh, 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 on Facebook, land lead gen ad always do better because it's less work. You know everything's auto populated. If especially if the the, the the new the new patient has a Facebook account, mm-hmm. all you have to do is, is 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 click on the learn more and then th- their name everything would be po- auto populated. Than on a landing page, right? So, but the landing page uh, route is where you can again, you can put the 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 dentist who's going to do the assessment you can speak a little bit about the dentist then underneath that you would have the appointment schedule where they they could schedule their appointment which then would send them you know the sequence of emails which is the email confirmation that their date has been set you know again send a few days after that sell them a welcome email because you're kind of you're kind of taking them through the funnel to mm-hmm. kind of qualify them at one mm-hmm. point yep. and kind of increase conversions so that they show up. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. So, Go so ahead. what are your thoughts on that? 
No, that's that's exactly. If if I would change anything, here's my here's. Yeah. So I, I I will throw a suggestion out there. But again, right. whatever you're doing, if it's working, freaking just turn it up. That's all. So forget about what I'm suggesting. Yeah. If it's, if if what you're doing is working, but but if right. if, if, if if you want to make it work a little bit more, my only yeah. suggestion, what my only tweak to the funnel would be when they click on learn more they come to that landing page i wouldn't have them schedule right there what i would do is i would have them put their name and email name and okay. email so i'd get them all super interested the landing page credibility freaking everything is listed covid all the policy shit all that's on the on the landing page and all i would okay. ask for is name and email and then when okay. they click, when they enter their name and email, then mm -hmm. they go to a thank you page. And on that thank you page, that's where they schedule the call. And on that thank you page is where I'm telling them the urgency of scheduling that call. So I would do it on the thank you page. Mm -hmm. I would get them all super wet and excited and freaking want a free tea clean and all that shit on the landing page. And I'll ask for only mm -hmm. name and email. Once they opt mm -hmm. in, it's the thank you page mm -hmm. where I'm creating the urgency with a countdown clock. So I'm putting a countdown clock on that thank you page and I'm saying, Hey, mm -hmm. schedule in the next five minutes to redeem this coupon or to redeem this offer, redeem this offer in the next five minutes, click here to schedule your call. I'd put a count, a countdown clock because the, the only reason why I would do it that way, name and email mm -hmm. on the landing page only, and then schedule the call on the thank you page. The only reason why I would do it that way, rather than taking them straight to the landing page like you are and having them schedule right then and there is because I would get more leads my way because uh, the fact is, okay. is that when someone clicks on learn more and they come to that landing mm -hmm. page, not all of them are going to schedule a call right then and there. But it, but it, but it, mm -hmm. but if I can at least get their name and email, then mm -hmm. I can leverage my email autoresponder and get those who mm -hmm. didn't schedule a call on, on the thank you page. I can get them to schedule a call via email. I got you. I so, got so, you. So rather I than, you. rather than yeah, delivering, yeah. Rather than delivering 40 leads to the dentist, I can deliver 80 leads to the dentist yeah. and really justify my, my, my fee because what I'm really doing for the dentist is I'm not just running ads, but I'm also going to be managing their landing page and their email automation because their money mm. is in the follow-up. Their money is in, the, in mm. that email sequence. We're going to get much mm -hmm. more people to schedule the call in the emails mm -hmm. because all there is a link to our calendar. So in each email, mm -hmm. there's a link to the calendar. So again, mm -hmm. those who didn't schedule a call up front will schedule a call on the back end. That's the purpose yeah. of the email automation. Yeah. Because yeah. what am I emailing? Exactly. Them? You know what I mean? Like, it, it, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, where does Zapier play a part in this? I know it's gonna, I know definitely it's gonna play a part. But hell no, no need for it. N no need for Zapier? Hell no, bro. Like, but but it, but what there is, the hell? For what? <laughs> what do we need Zapier for? Now there is yeah. an integration. You can integrate it like for whatever the hell you think you need it for. Like over here in my integrations, yeah. you can come over here and you can hit, where is it at? Zapier. Zapier, it's approved. So if you need to, to, to in integrate it with anything you got going on, okay, cool. It's integratable. But shit, what do we need it for? There's not even, it's not, I don't. It's not exactly. Like wh why, why would you use Zapier then? Why, well, see, why, when you use it? You, you, Marcus, specifically, you use it for your lead gen ads. But if I'm not using lead gen ads, I'm running conversion ads to yeah. a landing page. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, 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 true. So true. there's no zap here needed, bro, at all. Like at all. At yeah. all. Like, everything yeah, yeah, is, true. is right here. So true. you would build out all the page, all your pages through my pages. And then, and right. then everyone, and then, and then anyone who fills out a form, whether it's a calendar form, mm -hmm. whether it's a form on the mm -hmm. landing page, whatever, that's my form. Mm -hmm. And whoever fills mm -hmm. out the form lands on a list. So if you fill out the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the coupon, you know, redeem your, mm -hmm. your, your teeth cleaning coupon, you, you enter that form, mm -hmm. you're now on the list right here. You're on, mm -hmm. you're on, you're on a specific list. If you schedule mm -hmm. a call, you're on a specific list. Now let's mm -hmm. say for example, you, you, you're on the teeth cleaning. There's two different types right. of people. That's why what I would suggest is I click learn more. You bring me to a landing page where you're asking for mm -hmm. only name and email. Once I click submit, okay. I then go to a thank you page where you're now telling me the importance of scheduling a call now. Those are two different people. One person lands on a list of, let's just say, prospects, right? 
they mm-hmm. opted in, they opted in, and that's a prospect list. And then you mm-hmm. have the second list of those who actually scheduled a call. Right. Two different lists. Right. Now, now yep. the prospect list, the prospect list would be people who haven't scheduled a call yet. They just opted in mm-hmm. wanting their teeth cleaning. They opted in, but for whatever reason, they didn't schedule a call yet. That's a list. Mm-hmm. So that list right. is now tied to my sequence. Sequence. Which is my, yes, that's yep. my email autoresponder. So now yep. I have the email autoresponder. I have 10 emails already pre-written, ready to go out. Yep. And yep. so those prospects who didn't schedule the call up front, they're yep. getting these emails. And, in, and, and let's yep. say I set up 10 of them. One's going out every yep. other day. In these mm-hmm. emails, what am I doing? In these emails, maybe I'm dropping more video. In these emails, yep. I'm creating urgency of yep. them scheduling their call. Yep. In these yep. emails, in these emails, there's a link to the calendar. Oh, so, shit, so that's man. where that's where I'm saying, hey, John, we noticed you haven't scheduled your appointment. Our, our calendar is booking fast. Make sure you get over there and schedule yours now. They click, they come yep. to the calendar. And this calendar, what I do is I integrate it with Gmail. So what I would do if I were you is I would just simply set up a Gmail for the client and, and, and give them access or ask them for their Gmail. Most of them have a Gmail. And just say, hey, mm-hmm. Mr. Dennis, whatever Gmail you have, I'm going to use that calendar. Because as people schedule a call here, it syncs to that Google Calendar. Well, that's the thing. That, that was, remember, we, I mentioned that earlier in the conversation. You know, I wanted to figure out a way. Hold on, David. Let me just send these guys a, a message that I'm going to be a little bit late because I can't, I can't, I can't no, jump no, no. off this No, I don't want you to be right late, now. bro. I don't want you to be late. I don't want you to be late. We'll, we'll continue this um, later. But, but, but I'm just giving you the blueprint. They schedule on your Karcher calendar. Bro, I don't want to come off, bro. I want, let me just send them that out uh, okay, five okay, minutes okay, late. Okay, okay, Let me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Okay, so this Karcher link, this calendar link, this is the one that's in the email sequence. So as these right. emails go out, these automated emails go out to all the prospects who have not scheduled a call yet, then yeah. they get this link. This calendar is syncing with the dentist Gmail calendar, Google calendar. Mm -hmm. So as Mm -hmm. that prospect schedules a call on the Karcher calendar, the dentist is going to be able to see it on their Google calendar. Mm -hmm. And so your whole job is to fill up that Google calendar with appointments. They're all coming Mm -hmm. to the Karcher calendar. The Karcher link is what's in all the emails. Um, and, And here's the thing. We also now, because look, here is, we got, the, we got two different lists. We got prospect right. list and we got right. scheduled appointment list. Right. So, so, so it's the prospect list that remain in the sequence and they're the ones getting the 10 emails, for example, or 15 emails or five right. emails, however the hell you want to set it up. Cut. But yeah, but, because but, they need more indoctrinating in yes, order to push yes, them to, to make the to appointment. To the appointment. But here's what happens. Yeah. What one main one, one huge, huge feature of Kartra, bro, huge feature that I, that, that, that I cannot stress enough is the automation. Kartra's mm. automations mm-hmm. are second to none. There's no system like this. For example, mm-hmm. this prospect list, this is the list tied to a sequence, not the scheduled appointment. So not every list. Right. And, and what makes a list? Anyone who fills out a form. So any, that form right. you're on a landing page, that forms on a calendar, whatever. Anyone who fills out a form lands on a list, <clears throat> right? But not every mm-hmm. list is tied to a sequence. I can determine whatever list I want tied to a sequence. Now, the scheduled appointments, they, they don't need a sequence. The scheduled appointments, they're going to get a booking reminder. They're going to get a, 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 mm-hmm. a, a, re, a, a booking confirmation. So that's already right. built in. That's already built in. When they right. schedule an appointment, they get a booking confirmation. And then one hour right. later, they get a reminder of their up and coming appointment. That's automatic right. in, 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 in the appointments. But as far as the sequence, mm-hmm. these are prospects on the list that are going to remain in the sequence getting those 10 emails. Here's the automation. Right. Let's say, for example, on the seventh email. On the seventh email, that lead opens up the email and they end up scheduling an appointment. Mm-hmm. Now, that prospect is on the scheduled appointment. The scheduled list. appointment, right. If, so, then, uh, then. Yeah. So, yeah. if, and then, exactly. Yeah. So, in the yeah. automations... Look, mm-hmm. prospects who didn't have the money, schedule appointments. So in the automation, here's what I'm going to do. If lead 
subscribes to scheduled appointments, okay? If mm -hmm. that happens, then mm -hmm. unsubscribe them. Subscribe them. Unsubscribe yep. them from the sequence. Sequence. So yep. they, they scheduled on email number seven. They don't need to re they mm -hmm. don't need to remain in that sequence. They do not need right. to email number eight, nine, and ten. Right. Or you schedule an appointment. Right. So take them off that right. sequence. Automations, bro. Right. Automations is yep. what crushes most most of these softwares, the Kartra automations. If this happens, I'm then do this. You, if bro. that happens, then do this. If they buy yep. this product, yep. take them off of that list. Right? So automations is, is a whole nother call, but that shit right there, bro, this is so powerful, man. I have so many automations yeah. set up. This is, yeah, this the is challenge just, is, the challenge for me is going to try keep, I understand the concept, but I'm going to have to try and play with it a bit more to get more hands-on, you know? Oh, bro. But I understand the concept. I, yes. I fully yes. understand the concept. Well, that's why, bro, you have me. Like, you have me free of charge. We can always jump on these calls. Right. I can walk you through all this shit. And then we have our Tuesday right. and Thursday trainings at 4 p.m. And if, and, and if you can't yeah. make those live training, it's always good to go live. But if you can't make it, they send yeah. you the, re the replay. So, okay. So, okay. so if you could just focus on scheduling a handful of calls with me, if you can focus on making sure you get to those trainings, and if you can't get to it live, watch the replay. It's only an hour. And, 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 and yeah. if I were you, I would just sit there for an hour and just consume the information. Listen to what the hell these people are asking and listen to Karcha yeah. support. It's three of the support yeah. team that jump on. They jump on live. You can see them and they're just answering yeah. questions. And, yeah. and you learn so much from that. That right the there. The knowledge is, is, that I'm getting from you, bro. Like the knowledge that I'm getting from you with, the, and, I, and I know you're you're doing this as an affiliate, but that's beside the point, right? Bro, no, no, no. The that's the whole point. No. That's the whole point. Yeah. It's like shit, bro. I have that financial interest to make sure you succeed at this shit. Right. That's, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be giving you my time for free at all. I wouldn't be helping you yeah. at all if it wasn't for something. Yeah. Because right? this is yeah, this is invaluable, bro. This 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 this. Yeah, I love the support. I love. Yeah, I love bro. It. So, I so it, I know? have to make sure you succeed, or else, yeah, dude. Then all this is for nothing. Cause shit, I really wasted my time. Yeah, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want you to really leverage me, man. You have my calendar, so schedule as many calls as you need, and let's let's learn this. Yep. Shit. We have fourteen days. Yeah. You know, I want to compare it all. I want to make sure you know, you know, what the hell's going on. But again, it, it okay. forget about all this mm -hmm. other stuff. I'm just what really sold me is the fact that if I if I didn't have all this in one, I would have to pay for all those separately. That's yep. the bottom line. Yep. That's the bottom line. I yep. need Calendly. Yep. I would need Mailchimp. I would need ClickFunnels. Yep. I would need freaking um, 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 a membership course, Kajabi. It's like shit, man. Yep. That's all. That stuff is expensive. I truly believe that's what yep. kills the brand new entrepreneur having to try to pay yep. for all the services separately. You know, yep. it's not cheap. Yep. So yep. so yeah, man. So jump jump on your call, bro, and and let's schedule another call whenever you can. You know, let's jump back on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so with the four things, with the funnel that I, we, we explained, right? Mm -hmm. the, the same funnel I explained to you, right? Mm -hmm. um, what, what sections did I need to look at in order to achieve what we spoke about? Very good like question. I, need, I, know what, I know we need to look at pages, forms. What else do I need to take? Yes. To, to let, me, let me start right here. Okay, so here's what, here's what I want you to, to, to focus on is you're going to focus right. on my communications, which right. again, this is, this is going to give you a, 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 a layout of all your leads. So when you click on my right. communications by default, it brings you to every lead in your system. But what you want to right. do is you want to break it down by the list. So yeah. right here, list, you can come in here and you can create a new list. Right. This is your list. Right. And then right. you have over, you hover over communications. There's your sequence. Now broadcast right. broadcast are the one-off emails. So if right. I have all these lists right here, let's say a handful of them have a sequence and now they're receiving 10 emails, for example, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter if a person's in a sequence or if they're not in a sequence. If right. they're on a list, I can always come in here whenever the hell I feel like it and I can send a broadcast. A broadcast is a one-time email. Right. So if you're working with, right. with a client and he has this random promotion that all of a sudden he wakes up and thinks about and he reaches out to Marcus mm -hmm. and says, Hey Marcus, we got this great promotion that we're running for the next 24 hours. Can you make sure that all of us, all of our leads on all of our list get that promotion? Okay, cool. Right. You come over here, you hit broadcast and you can send that broadcast to any list you want right now in real time. 
or you can even that's a paid it. service in Mailchimp, bro. Active campaign, all of those, those are paid services. No way, a broadcast. Paid services. Yes. Are you shitting me? <laughs> yeah, you have. Bro, to, listen. You I have send to be, so many broadcasts for free. It's not even funny. Yeah, it's that's a paid service on if you go on Mail because I had Mailchimp, right? Wow. I used to use Mailchimp. That, you can't you you can't do a broadcast on Mailchimp with the free service. You that's can't. crazy, bro. That's something I learned. I did not know that. That's yep, crazy. You can't. You can't. Oh my gosh, bro. Yep. I can come in here, hit <laughs> broadcast, and I can send a a random email to whoever the hell I want on any list. How much like how much people can you send that broadcast to? Is I can it send it up to twenty five hundred people. On on Man, on the, on the ninety nine dollar plan. That's ridiculous, bro. So that is ridiculous. Yeah, dude. That, that that's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like I'm not trying to like overhype car trip, but it's like shit, bro. I have a lot of passion in it because I'm like, damn, dude. Most people have to pay a shitload for all this stuff. If I can help the beginner, or if I can help anyone, you know, it's like shit. It makes a lot of sense. So you so, know yeah, what's broadcast. gonna make you, you know what's gonna make you successful in selling this product, because you know the value of the product. Right. And value right. is created after the experience. Yes, bro. Yes, and and that's that's why I I literally built a YouTube channel around this for the last two yeah. years. That's my YouTube yeah. channel, bro. I'm just talking about car yeah. giving little tutorials and breaking down each piece and saying, hey, man. You'd have to pay for this shit separately, like jump on car trip. Yep. And I, always, I only tell people, hey, dude, just do the fortune eight trial. Forget about having to pay for it right now. Just do yep. the fortune eight trial and compare it to whatever the hell you're using. I, bro, that's my number yep. one pitch in all my damn YouTube videos. That's all I say. Yep. Freaking yep. compare it. Because once you look at it yep. and once I help you with it, you're going to be like, shit, dude, I'm going to save a lot of money over here and be way more effective. Yep. So, so yep. yeah. So the broadcast is, is one-off emails. You can send as many as you want, whenever you want, bro. And then, and then the yeah. sequences is what you can focus on. This is, this is the one time, e I mean, not the one time, but this is the autoresponder. So, so again, I could tie the sequence to any list. So as I come into the email builder, the sequence builder, I should say, yeah. I can set up as many as I want. So I come in here and then um, um, this is what it looks like right here. So, so all I, mm -hmm. I could send out, look, this one, the first one, I could choose to go out immediately. The second one, a day later. The, sec the third one, a day later a day later or three days later, four days later, I could change however many days I want. I can add as many as I want. But yep. in this case with this client, she has 10 emails that are going out. And so right. this is a, a machine right here, bro. Like I can set up automations. If, if, if the client opens up this email, then take them off the list, add them to a different one. If the client gets to the end and, and now they, they, they got all 10 emails, I can set up an automation unsubscribe from the sequence and add to a different list, right? Because mm -hmm. now, now you're, you're going to want another list. You're going to want to know mm -hmm. which leads reached the end. Let's put mm -hmm. all those on a different list. So now they can sit on a different list. And now I know that those people already got all 10. So now all I'm going to do is focus on sending a broadcast to them maybe every few days. Mm. Right. Or I can just maybe extend out my 10 days. Maybe instead of 10 days, I set up 15. You know, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and again, let's say that lead on day number, on email number 13, they actually scheduled a call. Okay, cool. The automation, if they schedule a call and they lead subscribes to the schedule appointments, then unsubscribe them. They don't need email number 14 and 15. So mm -hmm. my communications is where you'll focus on. My pages is where you'll focus on. In here, again, there's tons of templates that are already done. Now, these are all mm -hmm. the templates. These are all the different templates, video sales pages. Mm -hmm. Thank you pages. Mm -hmm. These are all the templates. We can change the color and mm -hmm. all that stuff. You could focus mm -hmm. on that. Um, but then mm -hmm. also down here in my campaigns, here's where mm -hmm. Kartra really, really shines. You click on my campaigns, you go to available campaigns and over here, these are all done for you funnels, not just the template. Like in, like in my pages, there's the template over here, bro, mm -hmm. is the entire funnel. So you can come over here and look at all these freaking funnels that are already done for you, bro. The tag, the list, the sequence, the funnel, all that shit, bro. Like there's so much in here that is already done for you, depending on what your objective. Holy if you're trying to build a list, shit. come over here and press play and watch the simple video. The video is going to break down. Wow. Look at this. Wow. 
Uh, so the list builder campaign is really cool. It's really easy. It's great for people who are just getting started. Is it free or you have to pay for the, those funnels? So Watch this real quick. Campaign, uh, you have your choice of some opt-in pages. So we're going to drive traffic to an opt-in page. You can edit it really easily. It's automatically pre-set up to redirect to a thank you page that you can edit really, really easily and customize for your business. And then all of the emails have been pre-programmed for you. So what we're going to do is we send one email per day for four days that do a couple of things. Our first email on day number one, make sure that they get the thing that they opted in for. And then for the next three days, we're just going to drive them to your website. And this campaign has a built-in choice of a long-form sales letter website um, or a video sales letter website. You can use either one of these types of web pages, and it's all tied together. It's really, really cool. So that's how it works. They opt in. They get a sales sequence that sends them to the sales page. And, of course, the thank you page gives them the thing they opted in for. And at the end, they can either purchase it. And if they do, they're not going to get any more emails from you. Or if they don't purchase it, you can choose to put them into another campaign. So when you click the install button here, you're going to get all kinds of cool stuff. You'll get your opt-in pages, your thank you pages. It'll build all the so the whole funnel, bro, and, and that, that end part where it's buy – you could put schedule appointment. So that click is not a buy. The click is to schedule the call. So can, you can edit can the whole I damn edit? thing. And that's what I was going to ask. Hell yeah, bro. If, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay. You can edit the whole damn thing. But the funnel, like the whole funnel is done for you, man. Like that's another nice. part of Kartra. That, and all this shit's free, bro. Like it's all free. It's all what? part of your account. That's what I was going to That's what I was gonna ask. If it's, free. <laughs> it's all free, bro. It's all free. So, so I know you got to go. Yeah. Look, it's my communications you want to focus on. It's my pages, yep. it's my yep. forms, because the form okay. is what goes on the page. Okay. And, then, and then my calendar, that's the calendar. Okay. And, then, okay. and, then, and then my campaigns, you come over here to my mm -hmm. campaigns and you click on available campaigns. And that's where you can see all the different done for you funnels. But all you gotta do is just watch the short video and it'll tell you what type of funnel that is. And, so, and then all so you I'm writing. Yeah, I'm writing down all I need to focus on. I so recorded this part for you, bro, so don't even worry. I oh, sweet. Part. Ah, nice. Okay, and then, and then you can click on the three dots, and then you deploy mm -hmm. it, and then you'll have the entire yep. funnel in your account. Or you can just view assets and see everything that it's coming with. It's coming with three pages. It's coming with two mm -hmm. video slots. It's coming with mm -hmm. a tag, a membership form, mm -hmm. and then the help desk. And that's another part, bro, the help desk. I didn't even focus on that because I, I rarely use it, but depending on what type of business, mm -hmm. the help desk. Mm -hmm. So if people mm -hmm. are on different pages, they can click mm -hmm. on the little freaking help desk, little freaking menu guy, and they can ask live mm -hmm. questions. It's like a live chat, like Amazon, like a live chat type of type On of the thing. page? On the page, On the page? Bro. On the page. Holy shit. And that comes directly to you, right? Yes, bro. Like you get that notification via email, and you know that Stacy is asking a question on the, on the freaking funnel page before oh, she schedules her call. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this like it's crazy. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. Shit. So, Shit. so don't get overwhelmed with it, but but maybe just yeah. dig deep, jump on the training calls Tuesday and Thursday if you can, and just schedule another call mm -hmm. with me, bro. Let's chat sooner than later. One hundred percent, brother. Okay, bro. One hundred percent. All right, brother. All right, man. Get on your call, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right, you gonna send me this recording? Yes, brother. I'll send it to you um, in a few minutes. All right, bro. Thanks, All right, bro. man. Thanks, man. Talk to you soon. All right, All right bro. Yeah, later. cool. Bye.